Welcome back viewers, this is Sweet Battle Scars again. Now I'm back in Monster Hunter 4 and going into another online quest. Now I've, um, I'm still playing with this awesome team of hunters and so I think this is going to be a pretty short quest again, just like the last one I had. Uh, I think we beat it like in uh, 7 minutes or under 8 minutes I think it was. Um, so I think this one should go pretty quickly as well and I think it'll it'll be fun. So last time on the the last Monster Hunter video I made was almost more like a channel update so I, I don't think I'll be doing that in this video. I'm gonna be talking more about the actual quest and the game and whatnot so uh, like I said I will uh, I will probably be making a channel update so you guys know what's be, uh, what's been going on and what's gonna keep happening in my channel in the uh, upcoming months, especially since we've got a lot of uh, new game releases coming up. So um, I'm just gathering some materials here for the quest and we are going to uh, do this thing. And uh, we are back in the unknown great forest, which again is that randomized forest that will never look the same. It always changes when you come in, which I think is really cool. Like I said in my last video, it'll throw you off a bit, but I think it's really cool that it uh, it's randomized. So first monster today is uh, Rajon, the uh, Super Saiyan uh, Minotaur. That's what he looks like to me. And uh, I am uh, again using my uh, Brachidios switch act and. Um, I'm using it again because one of you, one of you guys, asked me some time ago how slime element weapons worked in Monster Hunter 4, and uh, that got me thinking. I don't think I've used a slime element weapon in this game before, so I recently got myself this. Oh, I got hit heavily. I got myself this switch axe, so I decided to try it a little more, and uh, it works great. I think. Uh, if I remember correctly, I have upgraded it one time, so it's uh, or maybe maybe I, I may be wrong. This might be the original Switch Axe. May, I I don't think I've upgraded it. So uh, this is what you will get, and uh, it's a pretty good weapon. I don't think that slime weapons in this game are as overpowered as they were in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. So I think they've fix that and you know 3 ultimate was when they first introduced uh, slime weapons or uh, Monster Hunter 3G in Japan is uh, when we first saw slime element weapons and so I think you know you can I guess it's almost expected that they'd be a little overpowered but uh, they, they they still feel pretty strong in this game but I, I to me at least they don't really don't feel that much uh, that overpowered uh, as they did in uh, in 3 Ultimate. I know for a while there, uh, slime weapons was everything everybody used on the online servers in uh, 3 Ultimate. Um, everybody, every hunter was almost exclusively using slime weapons, especially in the early stages of the game. Uses uh, everyone with a slime weapon, but uh, now I think uh, people are mixing it up a little more. And I think that's good. Variety is good, especially in Monster Hunter. So we're gonna do some uh, bug catching, just like last time I still need to collect lots of bugs and uh, I'm still not quite sure where I can find certain bugs so I just, if I see a bug I just, I just gather, I'd rather be, uh, you know, safe and um, again because of the language barrier it's uh, always hard to see what what bug it is that I need and I think these guys uh, might have killed uh, Rajon already so uh, yeah, it always happens that uh, he moves uh, to a different stage. I stay collecting bugs and mining and uh, he dies. So at least I'll uh, carve him up. Get some stuff from him. And uh, we are going to get to fight a, uh, a new monster that I have actually have never fought before. And I don't think I've ever shown him in uh, a, a video of mine. So... I think that'll be uh, that'll be great. 
And again, this quest is going by pretty fast, so it'll be another uh, short quest. It's uh, fairly easy. And uh, there it is. It is a Vesarios subspecies. And uh, this is the first time ever we see it in Monster Hunter 4G. Or, uh, well, I, actually, sorry, this is still Monster Hunter 4. So, uh, he hasn't been in any other game in the series. So, first in introduced in Monster Hunter 4 and I we will see him come back in Monster Hunter 4G and 4 Ultimate in the US and Europe. And uh, it's a pretty cool looking uh, subspecies. I like him a lot. Oh, I'm trying to save this. Oh, I'm sorry guy. I tried to save you. My kick kept missing. That was my bad. Sorry. I think I like uh, I like this guy. I like the subspecies that they introduced, and of course we're getting we are getting lots of subspecies for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate when it uh, comes out in uh, early 2015. So um, I'm happy about that. A lot of these new monsters are gonna get subspecies, and uh, so I'm um, I'm happy to see that. And uh, this guy is uh, weak against ice. Uh, of course, I didn't bring an ice weapon, but. Uh, you guys can see that uh, he is uh, pretty easily beaten and uh, I do believe this quest is still high rank. Yeah, this quest is high rank. So even in high rank, uh, you know, these monsters are just uh, really easy to beat, especially with uh, an overpowered team like mine. I, I really do think I have an overpowered team right now. So I might switch uh, uh, things up a bit and maybe go to another team <laughs> so I can get some uh, maybe longer quests going. Uh, but these quests in the Unknown Grey Forest are, I mean, they're fairly easy anyway, at least to me, they feel very easy. Um, I might have to go look for a rare quest in the Unknown Grey Forest, that might be a little bit more of a challenge. So, because I think these monsters are for the most part in low rank. Uh, they feel low rank, because they just go down very easily. Uh, I may be wrong again, because I think this is technically a high rank quest. So uh, that pretty much does it. I uh, said that it would make more Monster Hunter 4 videos, and I am. So uh, more Monster Hunter 4 on the way, guys. So uh, so uh, you know, stay tuned and, and look forward to those. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I've lo I love hearing from you guys, and it really encourages me to make more videos. And so um, again, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.